YouTube, I'm going to show you how to build our twin rain barrel stand. Up top we have five 48 inch 2x4s. In the middle here we have two 47 inch 2x6s. And down below we have two 20 inch 2x6s. I'm going to put the frame together and start the camera again and I'll show you what we're Okay, so the short 20 inch pieces are now on the inside of the two longer 47 inch pieces as you can see here. So our next step is to nail everything together. Alright so here you can see we have it uh, nailed off I have it standing up. I like to use the nails because it keeps these joints here nice and tight together until you get the screws in there. Once you get some deck screws in there it'll hold it uh, nice and rigid and you don't have to worry about it falling apart. So let me throw some screws in. Alright, so we have four screws per side now. And you can see here in the middle at 23 and a half, I forgot to mention in the beginning, you are going to need a support piece in the center. So make yourself a little mark at 23 and a half, and you will need one more 20 inch 2x4 to go in between there. I'm going to go ahead and get that attached. Okay, so after you have your uh, center piece installed, you're going to want to use a hole saw if you have one. This particular hole saw is one and five eighths. Cut a hole right there exactly centered up for that. This is where the plumbing will come out later. Alright, stand by for the next case. So we have our five 48 inch deck boards laid out. And I got a couple of tools I made here because I do this all the time. You may or may not want to make these. Uh, this one here. That's for the cutout. We're going to do that in a minute. This here is a quarter inch and a half inch just marked out on a piece of scrap wood. And what we're going to do with this piece of scrap wood is over here on the edge, we're going to set it in here and use this to line up at a quarter inch on both sides. Sorry, a half an inch on both sides. On the front here, that's what the quarter inch is for is on the front. Push that one to a quarter, and that one to a half. Okay, so I used my block and I've got my spacing correct on one side, and I went ahead and just shot one nail in. Now I'm going to go down here to this end with that block, and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, so the front board is attached with a half an inch overhang on either end, and a quarter inch overhang across the front. Now we're going to come back to the back end use the block again, get it set to a half an inch. Then we're going to take our tape and pull our tape and pull it out to 24. When you get the board at 24 with a half an inch overhang, shoot a nail in there like we've done and now you'll go down to the other side. It'll already be set for the overhang. Pull it to 24 and stick another nail in. Okay, so our front and back boards are now attached. You can see I've got some little blocks in there now on the middle pieces. And I've got a level here, and I use that to line up the ends on both sides. Go down to that end, throw the level on there as well. And using the spacer blocks, you'll get nice even spacing, so go ahead and nail those off. Okay, so here's my other little block tool. Uh, you don't necessarily have to make one of these. Uh, it just helps me line it up. What you've got here is about two and a quarter inches of depth into this 2x4 that you're going to cut out uh, across this line across the front here. So you're basically just going to remove all of that. I do it by cutting that line and cutting that line and then you can just knock it out of there with a hammer. Uh, so I'll show you that here in just a moment. Okay so now we have all our screws put in and we have our two notches cut out for the plumbing and we have our hole down here for the plumbing and the spigot. So our next move is to make some legs for it. Uh, you can make the legs whatever length you want, but we'll get to that here in just a moment. Alright, here are the legs. I've got them at 20 inches. You've got a 20 inch 2x6 and a 2x4. And you can see this one here is put together. And this one here is ready to go. I don't recommend going any more than 20 inches without putting the legs in the ground and using concrete. Uh, this thing is going to weigh close to 900 pounds when it's full. 
so you definitely want to be cautious during construction and installation. And bear in mind that it's going to be very, very heavy. So build yourself four of these legs like this, and then we will talk about how we're going to attach them. Okay, so we have the deck flipped over now, and the four legs are sitting on there. Make sure you get the 2x6 facing the front and the back, and the 2x4s on the inside here. I'm going to throw a couple of nails in there uh, just to get everything nice and square and hold it there, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw some deck screws in. Okay. Okay, so we have our screws in. I've got four screws in the 2x6 and two in the 2x4. You could go a little more. I wouldn't go any less than that. Um, be careful going too much more. You don't want to encourage the wood to split by lining up too many screws in a row. Um, okay, so now we're going to flip it back over and start on the barrels and the plumbing.